Hi students, welcome to my channel. This is the second class of our way of optics chapter. Last class already we discussed about the introduction part. That's the introduction. But in this class we can discuss about wavefront and types. That's the wavefront and its types. Wavefront and its types. Types of wavefront. Yes, types of wavefront. Now, see here, before we can explain the concept of wavefront, just we can take a simple example. What are the people observed in your daily life only? Same simple example I am going to take. Here, what are the people observed? We are going to take a calm water surface. Yes, no, water surface, it will be calm. When I am going to take a calm water surface, when I am going to drop a small stone on it, what will happen? You will see, no? yes, no. when I go to drop a small stone on the surface of the water, for example, here, here is the surface of the water, I am going to drop a small stone over here. Yes, no. I am going to drop a small stone over here. What will happen? Here, around the, where the stone we are going to drop, there will be concentric circles. Yes, no. Concentric circles are going to be formed. Yes, no. Concentric circles are going to be formed. After the plane increases, the circles are going to be moved from to the end. Like this, the concentric circles are going to be formed. Generally, this one we are going to, what we are going to call? We are going to call it as ripples. This one we are going to call it as what? Ripples. This ripples only we are going to call it as what? Wavefront. This ripples only we are going to call it as what? Wavefront. Here, wavefront is going to be simple. See here. We are going to drop a small stone. What will happen? What are the water molecules are present here? They are going to be disturbed. Yes, ma'am. All the water molecules are present over here. Disturbed. The disturbance is going to be transferred to neighboring part. For example, here there will be one particle is there. Here will be one particle. Here will be one particle. Here will be one particle. What will happen? There will be disturbance. Again, this particle what will happen? Transfer the disturbance to the neighboring. This one is going to be transferred here. This one is going to transfer here. This one is going to transfer it. Again, this is going to transfer the disturbance. This is going to transfer. This is going to transfer. This is also going to be transferred. Means the disturbance is going to transfer from one point to another point. Same way, here, what are the points over here? Are the first circle. This first circle. All are same distance from the center. From here to here. Here to here. Here to here. Here to here, all are the same distance from the center. And also they are going to move with the same speed. They are going to move with the same speed. They are going to cover equal distance with, they are going to move with the same speed. These are now what? The continuous points. Yes, they are going to form a continuous points. That's why the wavefront means there will be simple. The continuous. The continuous. Locus of continuous locus of all the particles in a medium. Continuous locus of all the particles in a medium. Continuous locus of all the particles in a medium which are vibrating in which are vibrating in. Same face. Same face. We are going to cut as what? Wavefront. Simple one. Face means what? The state of a vibrating particle. The state of a vibrating particle. What are the particles here? They are same distance. They are going to move at same velocity. That one we are going to cut as what? Same phase or constant phase. So same phase or constant phase. Simple one. The continuous locus of all the particles in a medium. This is a continuous focus of all the particles in a medium which are vibrating in this one which are vibrating in same phase they are going to call it what are the particles here they are vibrating in same phase what are the particles over here these are going to vibrate in same phase these what the particles are there they are going to vibrate in same phase means equal distance are moving at same speed they are going to call it as what wavefront this one are going to call it as wavefront this is one wavefront this is one this is one more wavefront after time it is that is going to travel certain Distance of something. That is what this. Now, 
types of wave types okay before okay one more thing here before we can go for the types of wave field see here. the speed with which the wave field moves most the speed with which the wave field moves that is called as speed of the wave this is speed of the wave the speed of the wave is very really simple the speed with which is yes, not the speed with which the wave field moves that is called as speed of the wave field yeah one more thing here what is the difference between ray of light and wave field this is a ray of light and wave field is very really simple the line drawn normal or perpendicular to the wave field is called ray of light for example this is the wave field here i am going to draw a normal this is the wave field i am going to draw a normal this is the wave field i am going to draw a normal means say all the normals we should try this one you are going to draw as what ray say i am going to draw a normal i am going to draw a normal now all these are going to try means this is going to cut as what ray again see now 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 i am going to try this is what ray of light the line drawn normal to the wave field or perpendicular to the wave field we are going to call it as what ray clear can you clear the difference between wave field and ray no we can move to that types of wave field go to the types of wave field in the types of wave field simple one first one it will be spherical wave spherical wave second one it will be cylindrical wave cylindrical wave third one it will be plane wave okay spherical wave field cylindrical wave field and plane wave so here what are the types of wave field we are going to define uh differentiate that is what based on the source based on source of light based on the source of light we are going to classify it into three types first one it is spherical wave field same way for the example we took over here one small stone we are going to draw on the surface of water no? the small stone only we are going to call it what point source this one we call it point source what is that one there ripple are going to produce means here there is one spherical wave field of the sun spherical wave field is very simple what is meant by source here what is the source what is the source point source point source the wave field produced from the point source is yes, the wave field produced from the point source is called as what spherical wave field is yes, the spherical wave field the wave field produced from the point source here this is what Ray. This is also ray. This is also a ray. This is what spherical wave. Spherical wave. Means the 
spherical wave frame is pretty simple. The wave frames produced from the points. Just the wave frames produced from the points of the group called as spherical wave frames. Yes, cylindrical wave frame is pretty simple. Instead of points of, what I am going to do is, I am going to take a linear source. That's right. Instead of points of, I am going to take a linear source. When I am going to take a linear source, This is what linear source. Instead of point source, I am going to take what? Linear source. When I am going to take a linear source, what will happen? Here also, the source is linear source. Linear source. When I am going to take a linear source, what will happen? Simple, see here. Here there will be one point source. Here is the point source. What will happen? Here will be one spherical wave. Here also. Here also one spherical wave frame is going to be produced. The two spherical wave frames, this is another two spherical wave frame that together we are going to cut as what? Same. The two spherical wave frames that together we are going to cut as what? Cylindrical wave frame. Yes, cylindrical wave frame. Then it looks like what? Cylindrical. See, yeah. this is another what? Rays of wave. Parallel 
things are what parallel or it means that it is simple. The waveframe produced from the linear source are point sources or linear source are points of they travel from a larger distance. So they travel from a larger distance we are going to call it as what? Plane waveframe. Yes, plane waveframe. Okay. Now one thing, one more time, no points you have to remember. The waveframe produced from the parallel rays. That's what are the waveframe produced from the parallel rays? They are going to cut as what? Plane waveframe. The waveframe produced from the parallel rays are going to cut as plane waveframe. Second point, the converging rays. That's what converging rays. Converging rays means the all the rays are going to be come and meet at a point. Means converge. Converging rays. They are going to be come and meet at a particular point. These are called so what converging rays. The converging rays are going to give the converging spherical wave. Yes, the converging rays are going to give the converging spherical wave. Let me see. This is red. Here I am going to draw a line. Here I am going to draw a line. Here I am going to draw a line. Three lines. And I am going to join these three. What will become one spherical wave. Again, here it will be one spherical. Wave. One spherical, one spherical wave. What happens? They are going to converge. Means this is called as what? Converging spherical wave. Converging spherical wave. Converging spherical wave. Means that will be simple. The converging rays are going to give the converging spherical wave. That's the converging spherical wave. Same way, this will be a point. This will be a point. All the rays are going to be diverged from here. Diverging rays, they are going to be move from a particular point. Diverging rays, what will happen? Again, here it will be one number. Here it will be one number. Here it will be one number. What will happen? I am going to change this. Again, it will be this. What will it become? This will be diverging spherical rays. Ions principle. Here, Ions principle. What the purpose of using the Ions principle? Yes, what the purpose of using the Ions principle is to be simple. See here, there is one point source. There is one point source. This point source, what will happen? This is going to give the rays. This is going to give the rays. When this one is going to give the rays, this one is going to give the rays. This is going to emit the rays. When this one is going to emit the rays, here I am going to draw a normal. Here a normal. Here a normal. What will happen? It will be one wave. Yes, sir, this will be one wave. This is the given wave. When time t is equal to 0 seconds, I am going to take. When time t is equal to 0 seconds, I am going to observe. This is the wave that produces from the source. Yes. After a particular time it will lie in like 1 second or 2 second or 3 second. Where the wavefront moves, where the wavefront will form, yes, where the wavefront is going to be formed, that means we have to find out the position and direction of the new wavefront. That's yes, the position and direction of the new wavefront at a 
instant of time that is not some instant of time we are find out which we are going to use what eigen principle eigen is the principle to find the position and direction position and direction position and direction clear so what the purpose of using the eigen principle is that will be simple simple as the source is going to produce a one wave effect at a particular instant of time we have to find out the new wave effect after a particular instant of time some instant of time is we are going to use what eigen principle so we are going to use the eigen principle here i am here two statements this is my eigen here two statements first i am going to write the statements this is first i am going to write the statements then i will explain with the diagram this is then i will explain with the diagram Then, this is the first time we write the statements. This is the first time we write the statements. Okay. First statement. It will be simple. The every point on the given wave. Every. Position of the new wave effect. Position of the new wave effect only in forward direction. Only taken in forward direction. Taken in forward direction. Taken only in forward direction. These are the two statements of the given wave. I will. Okay. Clear. Yeah. Each and every point of the given wave is a source of secondary disturbance, which produces a secondary wave in our direction. Yes, sir. It produces a secondary wave in our direction. They travel with the speed of light. Yes, sir. They travel with the speed of light. The tangent drawn to the all the secondary wave gives the position of the new wave or taken only in forward direction. New wave only taken in forward. Yeah, this is the 
true statement. Based on this true statement, how we are going to find out the portion of the new wavefront? I will explain that. Clear? See. Observe properly. Important one. So yeah. What I am going to do is I am going to take a source. This is the source of light. This is the source of light. When this will be the source of light. What is that? This will be emitted. This. This is this will be emitted. This. When this one is going to emit the rays. This one is going to emit the rays. I am going to draw the lines here. I am going to draw the lines. Then I am going to draw the lines. Draw the lines. Draw the lines. This is what. Yeah. Yeah. This is the given. This one. This is the given. This one. This is the given. This. This is the source. This. Okay. EAB is the given wavefront. EAB given wavefront. But time P is equal to what? Zero. Now, what I have to do is, I have to find out the position. That's in order to find out the position of the new wavefront at a particular instant of time. This matter, particular instant of time, I have to find the new position of the new wavefront. Simple, see it? Every point of the given wavefront is a source of secondary disturbance. That's all. Every point of the given wavefront is a source of secondary disturbance of the wavefront. Every point of the given wavefront. What I am going to do? Here, this is the given wavefront. Here, I am going to take few points. This is the point 1 I am going to take. This is the point 2 I am going to take. The point 3. Point 4. 4 points I am going to take. Okay. Every point on the given wavefront is a source of secondary distance. Means you are going to be disturbed. This is a secondary distance. Now, which produces a secondary wavelength in all directions. Which produces a secondary wavelength in all directions. This one produces a secondary wavelength in all directions. The secondary wavelength in all directions is simple. See, this one is with point five. This is going to produce a spot one spectrum. Okay, this will be one point five. Again, this will be. This is also going to produce the second. Okay, so they're going to produce the second and reverse. Okay, so they're going to produce the second and reverse in all directions. They travel with the speed up. Yes, they're going to travel with the speed up. This side will be second and reverse. This side is also going to be second and reverse. How much distance they are going to travel means they are going to travel with the speed of light. How much distance means see for see? What is the velocity? Displacement by time. Displacement means what? Velocity into time. Displacement means what? Velocity into time. Velocity means speed of light. The speed of light we are going to take what? C. Speed of light means C. Now, see so this is the point. Um, this is the point. How much distance is going to travel means? This 
Israel's almost distance is going to be Said Israel to city, Israel to city. The book of the Spirit of the Jews is going to be No. We are talking about the new version of the new of the second one. The tangent ground. This is the tangent ground to the second level. Tangent means the surface stitch. This is the tangent means what? Surface stitch. See? I'm going to write that. Yeah. 